So once again, a very good evening and uh, welcome to all the Arcanet fraternity and uh, for the delegates who've been uh, joining us uh, over the last four days. Welcome back to our fifth day. Today, we're going to talk a lot about BIM and digital solutions for windows, doors and facade. It's a very exciting topic because it is um, more probing towards what the future holds for us. And uh, in the agenda for today, what we're going to do is just quickly uh, talk about the architectural facade design and engineering week. We're almost coming to a culmination for this uh, entire week. Uh, talk a little bit about Technal, what we do for guys who have uh, who did not join earlier in the sessions before. And then we will uh, segue into our BIM and digital solutions for windows, doors, and facade. And then we will uh, finish the day's session as usual with a Q&A session. At the end of the session, we will have a small survey link, uh, and we request all of you to take some time out to fill in the survey, which will help us to deliver better and uh, more interesting content in the upcoming days. Okay, so without further ado, let me start by uh, giving you a quick introduction about this whole facade, architectural facade design and engineering week. When we sat with Arcanet, uh, when we were curating these uh, sessions, we wanted to actually focus on uh, a topic which was important for facade and building envelopes. And we had a we had a interesting um, set of uh, interesting topics. And Arcanet was kind enough to say, "Hey, I think this whole uh, we need a whole week to dedicate to this important uh, trade, which is uh, uh, building envelopes, facades, and fenestration." So we are really thankful for Arcanet uh, to collaborate with Technal to deliver uh, these sessions. Over the last week, we had some very interesting. Um, conversations we started from the real real basics on the functional parameters to choose the window door and facade um, we also went in to talk a little bit about the basics the fundamentals of curtain wall facades on monday my colleague Khalid, uh, he talked about the new trends in windows doors and facade uh, yesterday we talked about uh, a very important topic which is a fire and life safety from a facade perspective today we take on uh, BIM and digital solutions for windows, doors, and facade. Tomorrow, the last session, we save the best for the last. We want to talk about sustainability, energy efficiency, and circular economy, and how the future of facades uh, will look like uh, in terms of these important uh, factors which will affect uh, humanity as well. Okay, uh, let me start with explaining who Technal is. Um, we belong to the Hydro Group, which is the only global and complete aluminum company. We have over 114 years of experience and it is based uh, out of uh, Norway. And the most interesting part about Hydro is its rich experience in the business of aluminum. We have more than 35,000 employees in over 150 locations serving uh, in 40 countries. In terms of uh, what we do uh, as a company, Hydro owns its own bauxite mine. We have our own alumina extraction uh, units. We produce hydroelectric power, and that's where our name comes, Hydro. And we use this clean form of energy to convert this alumina into primary metal, into roll products. And we also have uh, products in the extrusion business. And then, of course, uh, we, we complete the cycle by recycling aluminum because aluminum is one of the products which is infinitely recyclable. Where do you find hydro products? You find it in the transport and automotive business, uh, in car manufacturers like Tesla, in BMW, in uh, Jaguar, Land Rover, where we produce components for these cars. Uh, we are in the building construction industry, of course. We we um, we we all aware we are we are aware about that. Packaging industry, you see our products in aluminium foils, in cans electronics and electrical machinery equipment and consumer durables. So as a business unit, 
we have the bauxite alumina division, we have the energy business, we have the primary metal, we have the roll products, and our portfolio of products comes under the extrusion business. And in the extrusion business, in addition to having our own aluminum extrusion plants, we also have precision tubing, which is in indirect press. We have building systems, which is where we belong. So under the building systems, uh, we have several brands uh, who have different uh, expertise and, uh, and different uh, ranges of products. We saw some of them in the previous sessions. We have Vicona, which is a German brand, which is having more than 70 years of experience. Technal, which is a French brand, which has more than 60 years of experience. We have Domal, which is from Italy, and Sapa from Scandinavia. So all these brands put together under hydro building systems, we have one of the widest range of architectural aluminum windows, doors, and facade. And this brings us um, uh, a lot of expertise with having all these wide range of products to service any kind of uh, facade requirements. So the brand which we are promoting a lot in the Middle East is Technal because Technal uh, historically has been here for more than 40 years. Uh, we are headquartered in Toulouse, a beautiful city in the south of France, uh, which is also famous for uh, the Airbus. If you uh, if you've flown in any of the airlines in from Saudi, uh, you must have definitely traveled on an Airbus flight. Is the same city where Technal also reigns from. Uh, we are present in more than 70 countries in over five continents, and we have over 60 years of experience in the business of architectural aluminium windows, doors, and facade. One thing which we are very proud of, uh, architects like to consider us as a, as a partner uh, to help them and assist them in, uh, in the, one of the most uh, complicated uh, designs and, and, and architectural challenges which they have. So uh, remember uh, Technal when you remember football because the reigning football champions, France, uh, Airbus, which I mentioned earlier, is the same city where Technal uh, hails from. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most uh, iconic landmarks. So whenever you encounter such places, please do remember Technal because we also have the same cultural um, reference. So what do we do as Technal? Uh, we like to call ourselves a complete building envelope solution provider for sliding systems, windows, doors, facades. We also do fire rated windows, doors, and facade, bullet and burglar proof uh, sliders, windows, doors, and facade. We saw these products yesterday in the fire and life safety session. And we also do handrails, pergolas, and conservatories. What's very unique about Technal is our innovation and test center in Toulouse. We have uh, very proud to say that any product which comes to the market uh, goes through a rigorous testing for three years. We do a lot of R&D prototyping uh, before it is launched to the market. So consumers, stakeholders, architects, you have a peace of mind when you work uh, with Technal because all the products are pre-tested for various air tightness, water tightness, structural stability, acoustics, thermal, which is all what we discussed over the last few days. Another interesting part, the innovation and test center is open arms for architects like you who are doing R&D. If you're doing research and development on any particular topic related to facade, uh, we would be more than happy to invite you and welcome you to work in, uh, with our R&D centers to help you in your uh, research findings. Uh, we have our own air tightness, water tightness, structural, seismic uh, test facilities in our labs. And we also have our own dedicated acoustic lab. We will talk about it later today. Uh, we also have our own workshop to do R&D on joinery, on, on metal fabrication. And we have a dedicated um, uh, knowledge hub on net zero uh, research and development. So if you are doing any kind of research on these topics, uh, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to collaborate with you in your pursuit for discovering new interesting things in the business of uh, facade and fenestration. In a nutshell, Technal has been in the Middle East for 40 years. We've been serving more than 10 countries and we have more than 150 authorized metal builders across Middle East, North Africa and East Africa. We have done more than 2,500 projects across the region. We have a team of 95 and counting. We are, we are uh, 
extremely proud. Uh, we have a bunch of really passionate uh, uh, colleagues who are uh, who are working in the industry for several decades, and we have three warehouses across uh, the Middle East, spanning over sixty thousand square feet. A quick uh, photographic ex uh, exploration of our offices. Here is uh, Technal in Bahrain. This is our headquarters. Uh, we have also warehouses in Bahrain and Dubai and in Oman, where we are stocking all our accessories which come from France and all the profiles which are extruded are kept ready-made uh, to supply and support uh, customers on time so that there is no delay in projects. Uh, this is our lovely team in Dubai and if you're ever passing by Dubai or Bahrain, please let us know. We would love to host you and welcome you. We have our own showrooms in both these offices where you can see really life-size um, uh, models of all our products and we welcome you to pass by here if you're ever passing by Dubai or uh, in Bahrain. So apart from profiles and accessories and fittings which are you know, uh, part of Technal's product offering. What else do we do? Uh, we are doing a lot of uh, tool, uh, supplying a lot of tools and specific uh, training for our customers. Uh, we also offer training to our other stakeholders, which is essentially part of what we do in Archinet. Um, we are uh, very proud to have a dedicated project service team. I'm going to talk about that a little later. And of course, software and consulting, and that's really the the crux of today's presentation and we also are testing and certifying all our products to the local requirements and complying to the local uh, weather conditions and needs in terms of project service as an architect right from the concept stage when you're really reviewing the design intent and we're trying to understand what are the possibilities um, and what are the potential products which you can use for glazing uh, this is where we start to work with you we, I, I will show you later on today why is it so important to have this early engagement with technal to help you in uh, reducing your design costs and overall construction costs so we are here to assist you right from the concept stage and as you move towards the schematic stage, you want to have more interesting details, which are more closer to the project need. So we are having a dedicated team who's developing details for the architects, um, who are giving you coordination details, uh, uh, interface details, and also helping you in the BIM aspect of uh, building up your uh, models. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show an interesting tool of how we help you at the DD stage. And as you go towards the tender uh, stage, this is very crucial, especially in today's market scenario where you want to have the best value for money. And this is the stage where we bring to you uh, authorized Technal metal builders who have been trained and audited by Technal who can uh, take on the project as per what we have designed together in the design intent without having any excess cost for the project. At the same time, there is always opportunities to enhance the design. Uh, value engineering is a very common term which we use today, but we believe in engineering value. Uh, so we always look at options and opportunities where uh, we can look at optimizing the products to help you in, um, in giving you a better uh, uh, value proposition without compromising the design intent and without compromising um, the specification which we have laid out at the early stage of the project. And finally, at the, at the construction stage, I think this is where uh, we are having a, an army of uh, site engineers who are uh, working closely with your resident engineering team because whatever we designed in the offices should not be uh, uh, evaporated by the time it reaches the site. So we are having a close look at how the products have been fabricated. We're doing quality audits. Uh, we are doing site audits. And even at the site, if the architectural team needs some assistance to review, we are there to assist. One thing which we are very proud of, we always recommend architects to insist on Technal to do uh, approval on the shop drawing before the fabrication and installation is started, because this gives you a piece of 
of mind that the right products which are as per technar standards are drawn in the right fashion in the construction drawings and installed in the right fashion as per the technar standards so um, with that said uh, the kind of projects which technal uh, does we do right from uh, multiple uh, form factors from education to culture to residential private uh, villas uh, offices retail health and well-being hospitals tourism hotels so there is um, there's no kind of project which we don't do so we do right from a small villa to a super high rise building. So we are very flexible uh, irrespective of the form factor or the application of the project. Some of my personal favorites uh, from Saudi Arabia, this is the King's Road Tower in Jeddah, which hosts one of the largest LED screen. Uh, this is Burj Ramla Towers. This is a Uber luxury tower in, uh, in central Riyadh. Uh, it is just about to get commissioned. Uh, this is the Stars Avenue Mall in Jeddah, which is uh, very interesting today because it hosts one of the world's uh, largest uh, curved uh, LED screen on the facade. So if you ever enter Saudi Arabia in Jeddah, you cannot miss this uh, project. This is the King Abdullah Specialized Children's Hospital in Jeddah. Again, a very iconic uh, facade where we've used double skin. Uh, we worked together with Darul Handasa on this interesting project. The Riyadh metro stations, I think uh, this is going to be a fancy uh, spot for all the uh, Riyadh residents soon. I think the metro is already getting uh, trial runs, so you will start seeing a lot of technology as you start to commute on these wonderful uh, uh, metro uh, facilities in Riyadh. We don't forget the past. The Bridgestone office uh, in Jeddah is an iconic building. It's probably one of the first curtain wall projects in Jeddah in the 1980s and still today stands absolutely fine and is a landmark in the city of Jeddah. Another personal favorite in the holy city of Mecca, we have Jabal Al Omar, which is again a very beautiful project, uh, which is hosting Technal's uh, solutions as well on the facade. In Dubai, if you ever pass by, these are some interesting projects, the Adros Skyview Towers. The Adra Skyview Towers has a wonderful uh, swimming pool right at the top connecting the two towers and today it has been uh, uh, voted as the most Instagrammable spot in Dubai. So if you ever come here, do not forget to pass by this wonderful project. This is Burj Vista where we've used incline facade and uh, integrated with GFRC. Very unique project as it overlooks the fountains in the Burj Khalifa designed by Adrian Smith Garden Gill. Fantastic project um, and we're really, we're really excited to work on this one. And last but not the least, the Dubai Design District and all the top architects um, have their offices here right from Kalatrava to Foster and Partners, Divan, you name it, all of them are here. And if you're an architect or a designer or doing anything in the creative space, uh, I highly recommend you to visit this, play, this, this uh, place because it's filled with creativity and imagination and uh, you will really enjoy uh, passing by this particular project. Okay, so that was a quick uh, introduction to uh, what Technal does and what we are doing in the region. And now it brings me to talk about uh, BIM and digital solutions for windows, doors, and facade. So like I mentioned, uh, all the, um, the services and products which we do in Technal, one thing was very, very clear from Technal right from day one. We don't see ourselves as only an aluminum uh, provider, but we are really looking at the whole ecosystem and how we are contributing to the larger picture. And that's what's uh, behind our brand. And that's why even our tagline is called imagine what's next. So we're always looking at what's next and what better value we can deliver. As you remember in the earlier slides, I've mentioned that we have an R&D team in France. So this is where all the development of new accessories and new products happen, all the testing happens here, and we are sourcing all our important accessories from France. Uh, apart from the, the hardcore materials which you can touch and experience, the R&D team is also always looking at innovating and bringing new things which will have a positive impact on the facade industry. So the culture of, of uh, Techna, the DNA, is all about innovation and design. So these are the two driving factors for us. Uh, and this is really 
what is pushing us every day to do something new and innovative for our customers and stakeholders. So this is supported by the expertise team which we have in the R&D center and the tools which we are creating for our customers. So in the design form factor, as you see, we're always developing new kind of handles. We are discussing with architects to, to make um, a new prototypes, which is trendy, which is in the, in the fashion. So we're always coming up with uh, solutions which are neat and elegant uh, for our architects and customers. And this is what we've been seeing in the previous slide, previous day's uh, sessions. Now, in terms of innovation, you know, we are always pushing the barrier. You saw some of the interesting active acoustic window and the climatic window, which we have uh, developed. So these are all uh, basically, uh, you know, looking at windows for the next five and 10 years and beyond. So we're already looking at such products, which, you know, help in, uh, in not only looking aesthetically better, but also functioning uh, much better than the current product range. So this is one of the products we have done uh, because of R&D is the optimized Solial window, where you have one of the highest uh, thermal performance. And also we, uh, we are using a new carbon fiber material in order to improve the, the thermal performance of the, of the facade and the windows. So the innovation doesn't stop only in the materials, but also in digital uh, aspirations of our uh, partners. So in 2008, we developed a software called Tech Design, and that uh, is something which I'll explain to you now. And we also uh, developed in 2016 the Tech 3D, which is what we're gonna talk today in length. And then 2017, we developed a software called Tech Acoustic. So all these three softwares have uh, been developed by our innovation uh, uh, R&D team, and they are constantly adding more and more features to these softwares. So what is Tech Design? Tech Design is essentially a tool used by our direct customers who are metal builders. I remember we were telling you we have authorized metal builders, which means that they have uh, tools supplied by Technal so that they can maintain consistency in production, but they also are having our software with which they can produce quotations, they can do static calculation, thermal calculation, they can pull out shop drawings, they can do CNC fabrication, um, machine language directly connecting the software to the machines. And this is a very important um, message because I'm going to bring this topic again later on during my demonstration and how we are completing the, the whole value chain in terms of communication. And then this software can also produce uh, EPDs and CE markings and so on. So this is the first tool which is directly used by our customers uh, for all these, uh, in all these um, things which they can do on that software. Now coming to the next software, the Tech Acoustic, which was recently developed. I have a small video to demonstrate uh, what this uh, Tech Acoustic is all about and how it is linked to our R&D.
So that's a quick introduction to the tech acoustic software. So essentially uh, what we do with the tech acoustic software is um, if ever you want to understand the simulate the acoustic performance of a window door or a facade, you can select the technal framing which we're using in the project. For example, if it's a solial window or if it's a geo curtain wall, and then you can uh, simulate the acoustic performance by changing the glass infill. So you can start with a 32 uh, dB glass, which is a standard, let's say 616 configuration, simulate the acoustic performance and then change the glass to let's say uh, a 616, uh, 66 laminated with an acoustic PVB, which has probably a better acoustic performance and try and simulate different options till the time you achieve your desired acoustic uh, performance and that would really help you to uh, in your early design stage to define what kind of glass and framing you need for the particular project if you remember our presentation where we talked about the functional parameters acoustic is one of them and by having the tech acoustic software you're able to define what should be the right glass configuration and the frame can, uh, for configuration um, uh, to do this and this is the first software in the market uh, where you can do and evaluate a complete acoustic performance and because this is directly linked to our laboratory and the test data is coming directly from the lab you have an accuracy of plus minus one db which is absolutely phenomenal for an for a desktop acoustic simulation software so this software is uh, extended to architects consultants at a very nominal fee uh, it is only to ensure that you have repeated uh, uh, enhancements uh, on this particular software so please feel free to reach out to us if you need to know more information about this particular tech acoustic software uh, the next software which we developed was the Tech 3D, and that is really one of the most interesting uh, configurator for uh, BIM. And this is what we are here to talk about today, much more in detail. Um, but what we want to do is really understand the BIM and, and the impact of BIM on the design process. And uh, we uh, are not seeing this as a, a topic for tomorrow, but really this is a topic for today. So that is why we are putting a lot of emphasis on showing and showcasing this uh, software to all of the design fraternity. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the BIM concept. So BIM, as you all know, it's building information modeling and cities and buildings are moving to a new generation. Here in Dubai, all the drawings submitted to the municipality should be in BIM format. No longer uh, it is accepted for uh, pages and pages of drawings. No, no, no. In, the, in, the, in today's world, all the drawings are submitted in, in BIM format. And there is a reason why uh, people do that because of traceability, because of uh, working in in um, in collaboration with uh, the infrastructural uh, teams at the municipality level. So there's a lot of benefit working on uh, on. On, on BIM. Uh, on the other hand, we also have a lot of challenges, which is climatic, safety, energy consumption, financial comfort, regulation. So we all need to have uh, this information loaded and available uh, on your uh, projects. So the BIM method, how it works is basically it's 3D uh, numeric model for simulation, analyzing, optimization, creation, management, maintenance, and destruction. So the data which you are putting into the model can be used right from cradle to cradle right from you know uh, in the concept stage till the time the project has been commissioned operated and even finally in the destruction stage this data is valuable and used so it is working on the principle of collaborative approach and that's what we will talk more about today how the bim tools from technal is helping this goal of collaboration a gentleman called Patrick McLimmy from HOK developed this model called BIM Bam Boom, which essentially talks about uh, comparing the benefit of using these kind of tools at a very early stage. He uh, understood in a study that every euro which is uh, costing in design 
will become eventually 20 euros uh, during construction and 60 euros as maintenance costs within 50 years. So essentially what he says is that if you are uh, spending a lot of uh, time and effort in the design stage, you will have a better value proposition as the project evolves into building and operation. He further expands in a study saying that, you know, in a conventional design process, uh, when you have uh, some kind of changes uh, in the design uh, or, uh, or or shift in uh, uh, in the in the in the elements which are used in the project, the earlier you do it, uh, you have uh, better uh, results rather than doing it at a later stage of the project, right? So uh, he understood that the opportunity to influence the cost and performance uh, will get lower and lower as a project. Uh, goes into construction and operation. So uh, when you have uh, any kind of design changes do, done at a operational stage or a construction stage, this is going to cost the stakeholders a lot of money. So this is where uh, Patrick uh, says that uh, when you are collaborating and have an open-minded approach at a earlier conceptual stage, inviting the right stakeholders, inviting the right building manufacturers, engaging them with an open conversation and involving them in the design process, uh, you are going to save a lot of money in the overall. So this is something which is uh, um, very interesting because when you're working with the stakeholders on BIM at a very early stage, uh, you are able to save a lot of money for your clients as the project evolves uh, into technical design, specialist design, construction and operation and so on. So here is where um, the whole philosophy of uh, early engagement begins, early engagement with the right partners and the right tools. So with this uh, in mind, uh, let us talk about what are the solutions available from Technal, which uh, stakeholders can use at an early stage of the project. So, of course, like many suppliers in the market, uh, we are available on BIM Object and BIM Store. This is probably the most uh, uh, easiest way to find our products. But there is a disadvantage on these kind of uh, BIM Object, BIM Store uh, families. You are not always getting the design you want or rather you don't have if you have a particular configuration in mind you don't have that uh, detail available on the internet uh, the objects which you have on these web stores they are not constrained so if you are drawing it a six meter sliding door uh, it will not stop you you know but then you are actually feeding in the wrong data in the project because these are not constrained objects so a lot of architects came to us and say, hey, Technal, can you develop a software which can give us the freedom and the flexibility to make our own objects without having to depend on what's available on the internet? And that was really the driving force for us to start and develop Tech3D. So Tech3D is, uh, in a layman's term, is a BIM object configurator. And as Tech3D, uh, what it does, I have a small brief video to explain to you the basic synopsis of Tech3D and how it is integrated in the design process. Thank you. 
Okay, so you have uh, a quick understanding of what the tool is all about. So Tech3D as a, as a tool is available in three formats. So it is available as a Revit add-in. It is available as a, a Technal BIM library on Archicad. It is available as a standalone desktop.exe version, which can be used uh, to export SketchUp models and can also be used to export CAD. Right, so this is uh, essentially how uh, the platform works in different formats. Let me now take you to a live demonstration of this Tech 3D. I have to stop sharing my screen and uh, come back again. Let me share my screen now. Yeah, please let me know if you're able to see my screen. Okay, okay perfect, awesome. So imagine this is uh, a Revit model. I'm assuming that all of you are familiar with Revit. Um, we are having uh, Revit add-ins on 2017 right up to 2020. So if you're, let's say, assume you're using Revit 2019 or 2020, the more recent ones, when you install Tech 3D, uh, you will have the Tech 3D uh, logo appearing on your add-in. So as you see here, this is a Tech 3D um, logo which sits right on your, um, your add-in tray. So let me show you, imagine this is a building which you have just designed and now you are in the, uh, concept stage it's complete now you're moving to the DD stage and you want to start showing your client the real details and interfaces right so imagine we want to do the sliding door and you have like the Lumial slim sliding door and you want to incorporate this so from your uh, model you just click tech 3d and open into this uh, tech 3d all of this technal library will appear on your screen and without having you to jump from one screen to the other screen. It is all within Revit. You can choose the kind of slider which you want to uh, develop. And here you are having the flexibility of changing the width and height as per your project requirement. Another interesting thing is to add colors. So you can, because it's a thermally broken frame, you are having the facility to have an outside color and inner color. You can also have uh, the same colors, it's not a problem. Um, and you can have a quick 3D view of the product. And uh, all you have to do now is say create and place family. And once this is done, you are just able to, you've just created uh, an object called Technal Window Wall and it is sitting under the window family. And now you are just dragging it and putting it onto your wall directly on Revit. Okay, you are seeing only the folder. Okay, hold on a second. Let me stop sharing. Do you have any difficulty? Um, how about now? Can you see the Revit screen, guys? Yes, we can. Okay. So it is back now. Uh, if you're not able to screen see the screen, just uh, please give me a voice message because I'm not able to go to chat. Are you still able to see the screen? 
Yes. Okay, perfect. So as you see the, the sliding door, which you've just designed and uh, configured right from Tech 3D, it sits on where you've just placed it and the detail you get is LOD 300. The level of detail which you get is really accurate in terms of the actual profile, the gaskets, the glass. So your ID team gets a lot of information uh, from this kind of modeling. And this is exactly accurate uh, in terms of the real product. Now the good thing which I talked about earlier is data. It's all about data and information on BIM. And here you see all the specifications of the product, the air tightness, water tightness, thermal performance, uh, all of that All of that important uh, specification is preloaded on that model. Uh, for those of you who did not catch it, let me show you another, um, uh, another object creation. So imagine you have windows. You have uh, to create a window which is having a very unique shape. It's having uh, a top openable and bottom fixed. Let's see how to configure this video, uh, this kind of a window. So essentially you will open Tech 3D, right? Again from Revit, all the Techna library will appear. You will go to uh, Solial FY, this is the window range and you're selecting this side hung window. You're changing the dimensions as per your project requirement, the width and the height. And once this is done, now you want to add that uh, division. You remember you had uh, two fixed panels in the bottom. So you just add uh, a vertical mullion and a horizontal transom in that, in that window. And this is done now. And now all you have to do is change the framing as per the requirement of the project. And this is done. Of course, uh, technology will assist you in all this when choosing the profile. You can change the color of the frame all this is done in in one click you know if you're working with revit you know how difficult it is to add surfaces and texture and color and all that here just on a click of a button you're able to change the rail colors now here if you want to change the glazing you also have the opportunity to change the glass let's say from a dgu to a triple glazing and when you are creating the sizes of these windows you know if you have large heights it will say error sorry you you have just drawn beyond the limits so it is constrained it is as per the product uh, recommendations once the window is designed you just say create and place family so the object of that window 1.2 by 1.45 is just created and it is uh, it is uh, appearing under the window family now you're just taking that window and applying it at all your windows which you previously created and now if you look at uh, the detailing which has come it is absolutely accurate as per the project uh, as per the product uh, specs now when you go to the to the floor level and uh, sorry in the plan level and see the detail you again have the three levels of detailing usually what you get from the internet is this lod 200 they call it and now with the tech 3d you are getting lod 300 detail which is giving you all the glass thicknesses remember you had selected a triple glazing that also appears here and of course the the technical specification is available on the properties all the color which you've chosen the performances uh, which this product has all of them are loaded in so this is again a very interesting and a simple and an easy tool to do it let's look at the curtain wall uh, very quickly so when you want to design a curtain wall again very very simple from your model just select the area where you want to add a curtain wall now just go to your add-ins start tech 3d tech 3d automatically understands that what you have selected is the zone where you want to add some uh, elements so here adding the mullion and transom is just as simple as adding lines and uh, placing that is as per your grid sizes you can change the sizes you can add transoms um, uh, across uh, wherever you require, like a vision, a vision panel or a spandrel panel. You know, all these uh, curtain wall detailing makes life so much easy because the curtain wall detailing, which you get a standard rivet, it is just a, a rectangular box. It doesn't give so much detail. But here you are able to go one step beyond not only getting the LOD 300, but changing the colors, changing the spandrel. If you want to have a spandrel panel instead of a spandrel glass, you're just uh, clicking those uh, panels where you want to convert it. You go to the infill type and then you can choose uh, cladding dual color panel. So by clicking that, you're just simply changing the spandrel to uh, cladding. Now, if you want to change the color of these, you're able to do that as well. 
um, you can choose whatever RAL color you want for these uh, spandrel panels. And you can also choose the colors for um, the framing as well. So once you've done it, you can see very quickly the colors are updated and uh, you can see that even on the spandrel panels if you want to change the color you can just click the panel outside color and change the RAL as you need for the project. Um, now once uh, this is done if you are happy you can have a quick 3D view uh, but maybe you want to add a different kind of cover cap. So here you have a cover cap with the LED light. We saw this in one of the presentations. You can update the cover cap to LED light cover cap. You can see the framing, the mullions and, and, uh, and uh, transoms very clearly, very well defined. The glass infills can be changed. The glass thicknesses can be changed. And once you're happy with what you've drawn, you just say create and place family. That's it. And there you can choose the position where you want to, you want to put in the original position or you can choose a new position as well. So you have just uh, drawn a, a very accurate replication of what the curtain wall should look like. Now, um, the uh, important thing which you have to notice when it comes to the curtain walling is uh, Revit, uh, this is a Revit architecture, so it doesn't do structural analysis of the mullion depth and so on. So please talk to the Technal team whenever you want to decide uh, to incorporate these kind of details. Talk to us and we will advise you on the mullion depth based on the parameters like you know, where the project is located and uh, the wind pressures and the glass panel width. And based on all that module sizes, we will give you the mullion depth required. And then you can select the appropriate mullion depth from the, um, from the library. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about if you have an irregular shape, right? So imagine you want to draw a, a door with three fixed windows and you want to make one of the windows operable. So this is a very unique situation, very unique uh, um, model where you cannot, is not available on the library also. With Tech3D, it's so easy, it's so simple. You just have to open Tech3D again. Instead of going to the library, you have something called custom drawing. So in custom drawing, you are just able to, um, uh, you're just able to draw the lines like an, uh, uh, just you can draw the line like freehand. And, you know, uh, once you have uh, drawn this periphery, right, just, you know, uh, like how you've seen it in the drawing, it need not be accurate because you can obviously change the, uh, the shape, the dimensions later on. Somebody just asked on the chat that, okay, can you show me on SketchUp? This is exactly how it look on, on the SketchUp uh, model because we have this as a .exe file. So you do all these operations just like this. And only when you finish it, instead of doing create and place family, you will do export as SketchUp. That's an SKP file. So here you see, once you've drawn it, you just have to click on these panels and you can convert this into a door, convert this into a window, change the color. You know, it is so flexible that you're able to, um, you know, make objects in a jiffy. I mean, uh, students, if you're here, I think this is a big, big, big blessing for all of you because I know there are exercises in the college where you have to develop Revit objects. So use Tech3D and uh, you will save a lot of time. And so just create and place family. Uh, you want to, you know, want to see the profiles in the, in the plan, you know, just uh, you can change the cut height to see the drawings uh, separately. So here you go, uh, once you have uh, created it, an object has been created called Technal Door Wall under this family, you drag it and you drop it and, and you're good to go. So now you can just go to your plan view and see the actual details. So what you see here is traditionally what you get from the internet, maybe an LOD 200 detail like this. Uh, but when you go to the fine view, you start seeing the actual detailing. So phenomenal uh, advantage for your ID team because now they can really visualize where the curtain should come, where the lighting should be organized and so on. So this is something which will really make uh, life a lot easier when you start moving into that DD stage. So this is the kind of collaboration we are talking about using Tech3D and of course, all the material properties specifications are preloaded. 
So great, great uh, uh, opportunity to save time. The last thing which I want to show you on this is, uh, you remember we talked about tech design, the estimation software. So imagine you have designed something, but you don't know how much it's going to cost you because you're really at the stage where you're proposing your customer different options, different sizes. So let's imagine you want to find the cost of what you've just drawn. So imagine you have this curtain wall, this strip of curtain wall, which you've just drawn on Tech3D. You simply uh, open up what you've just drawn. Uh, you, you go to uh, Tech3D, select the object which is drawn, open uh, Tech3D, uh, what you've drawn comes uh, and appears. Here you can do some modifications, you can change also at this stage, you wanna change the glass. Whenever you change any infill panels, remember all the gaskets are changing and constantly getting updated. So it's a very intuitive, smart, uh, responsive um, uh, software. Uh, so now let's say I just want to add that LED cap instead of a standard cap and I can save as and when I go here there is a file a format called tech design so I create a file uh, from this tech 3d straight away as tech 3d file and then you send this file to me on on email to technal or to the metal builder I can import it onto my estimation software tech design and what you have just drawn comes directly onto my estimation software. So from here, it is very easy for me to understand what you have drawn. And for me, it is very easy to pull out the material list of all these mullions and transoms uh, which you've just drawn. So for me, I can pull out the material list, uh, I can get all the details, I can do even shop drawings, I can do cross section drawings in CAD, all of this can be done smoothly, seamlessly, and I can come back to you with the price within within five minutes. So because I have all the article numbers, I've got all the articles, all the prices I can do, and I can come back to you and say, hey, Mr. Architect, Miss Architect, uh, what you have drawn will cost you so much real. You know? So it gives you a good indication before you proceed, okay, I am in my budget, I'm working on my budget, my design is always within that uh, within that um, agreed budget with the client. So this is again a great way of how collaboration works with BIM. So not only you draw, but you also draw with purpose and you draw with uh, with a lot of information uh, back behind uh, through our Technal Authorized Metal Builders or with Technal directly. So this is uh, again um, a, a very interesting tool uh, to collaborate with uh, with all the stakeholders at a very early design stage. So uh, for um, for for SketchUp again, imagine this is not uh, on Revit. You have the Tech 3D which opens up exactly like how it opens up on Revit. You do all your files and you export as an SKP file. So that's simply how we work on on uh, SketchUp and other formats. Okay, um, let me, um, let me, uh, okay, so another question Fatima asks, how does it work on Archicad? So Archicad, uh, please talk to us. We have an Archicad library. So the Archicad library, we will share it with you. And again, once, uh, once you have it on the library, you're able to play with the sizes. Again, they are constrained. So whatever you've just done here can be done through the Archicad library. So please talk to us and we'd be happy to send you that uh, library across to you. Not a, it's, it's very surprising. Very few architects in the region use Archicad. More, Usually in Europe, they use a lot of Archicad, but in this part of the world, we see a lot of um, a lot of um, usage in Revit. Uh, so let me go back to to uh, my presentation. Somebody asked me, uh, "Can you give me the library for Revit?" Yes, it is available online, but that's not as good as what you get in, on Tech 3D because Tech 3D you have you can create your own library. You create. Um, you can create objects and objects and objects required for the project. You don't have to depend on the internet because you have everything available with you, um, uh, with you because you have the power to create your own object. So this is a software which, as you saw in my slide, very, very new, it's just three years old and more than 10,000 architects globally are using this. So we are always getting feedback. We're always getting constant requests to enhance. So I'm gonna show you some of the new updates, which I think is super cool. Uh, one is corners. And, and if you're dealing with uh, Revit um, uh, uh, or any of the application, doing a corner cut wall is very difficult. So we have now updated our new um, uh, facility. Now you have 90 degree corners. 
So for example, in this uh, situation, you can easily create a 90 degree or a 120 degree or a 180 degree, uh, 180 degree straight, but 90, 120 degree angles can be smoothly created. Uh, you can do it like an inward corner or an outward corner. You can do it as glass to glass joints. This again, saves a lot of time for architects and they're really in love with the fact that we're, we're able to get these kind of joints and corners uh, on on rivet it's fantastic you really get the real flavor of of how the corners look like especially inward or outward corners so this is possible today this is the newest update which we have done to manage corners on um, on, on the facade and uh, initially it was only with cover cap but now we have the gasket curtain wall system also available that's also another interesting update we talked about it in one of the presentation that uh, using gasket facade is much better than silicone in terms of dust that is also updated on tech 3d uh, another update is working from cad and moving it to to kind of revit this is another interesting um, uh, option which we have just added so imagine you have a cad file you have an elevation on cad uh, and you want to you want to bring uh, the rivet objects inside so just you can import your cad elevation straight into uh, tech 3d and once you have imported this you can actually select uh, deselect the layers and start looking at all the grids so you can choose the grids simply by you know having a full select option and then you tech 3d understands that this is the boundary you want to create so you can choose the um, uh, grids directly from here once you click and copy to drawing tech 3d understands that this is the grid you want to create uh, some rivet objects so this directly boom comes and creates those those nodes perfectly and here if you want to add let's say a spandrel panel or you want to add some grids you can do everything uh, on tech 3d as usual and and then boom you've just created a um, uh, back into cad as well it updates and you also have the the uh, revit uh, object created so this is another sweet update which which has happened on tech 3d and then another update which architects really, really love is uh, the fact that now we can start seeing handles. So if uh, I know architects are really finicky about uh, to see where the exact location of the handle is on the door and window. So this is something which you've added uh, recently. So all your windows and doors, you are able to uh, add handles. You, currently we have two or three different types of handles available, but you can choose more in the future. So you can select and choose the kind of handles which you need uh, for the project. You can change the colors. You can change the height where exactly you want the handle to be located. So these are uh, again, very useful in the long run because the handles also have article numbers so when the project goes into commissioning and into operation, uh, your uh, management team who is managing the project can always have a look at uh, handle replacements or if there's anything to be changed, uh, you can always have traceability back. So this is again a super cool feature um, on, on Tech 3D right now because you're able to visualize the location position of handles. So how much would you pay for tech 3d um, and usually architects are willing to pay to have something like this available with them but we are giving this absolutely free of cost there's no charge associated with this you just have to go to tech3d.technal.com um, once you go there um, it is very simple you just have to fill in your details and you will immediately get an email saying that hey do you want to download this as a revit add-in do you want to download the the Archicad library, or do you want to have the um, you know uh, standalone version? So if you're working with Revit, it's it's obviously simple because it gives you the option of Revit 2017 up to 2020. If you're working with SketchUp, just download the standalone version, the .exe version. If you're if you want to work on Archicad, please just download the Archicad library. So once you get that, you get an automatic 30-day free subscription. In that email, you will also get an option, say, activate license. So please click on activate license, and then we will get a notification. So for all the Arcanet members, we will activate the license free of cost for the whole year. So, and please uh, feel free to use it. We have a dedicated YouTube channel in 
uh, and the link is available here. I will put this link also in the chat. All these tutorials are available online. And my request is go ahead and play with this software. Uh, try to use it in your projects and feed us back with your comments. And if you need something to be enhanced, you know, we are all ears for you. We'd be more than happy to do also a, a private session for your team. Um, the only thing which you have to note is for you to install Tech3D on your Revit, you should have the admin rights. So if you have the admin rights, fantastic. Or um, you should ask your admin to give you the blanket rights to install Tech3D. That's the only requirement which you have. Okay, so if you come back to um, the Technal IT uh, platforms, so you obviously have this BIM tool, which is very interesting as, as we just saw here, and hope this adds value to your design process. So this is a solution for architects specifically and all the data which you create, the metadata you know, are all loaded in with all the objects which you have drawn. So you also have the option to go to BIM object, BIM store to download the technical library, but as I told you, they're very limited uh, and, and here you have a plethora of options to do. Um, so Tech3D, again, you can export uh, SketchUp, DWG, DX, DXF. If you're using any other BIM uh, tools, you can export them as IFC 2 by 3 So you can simply import it onto other uh, BIM platforms. Now the communication for the Metal Builder. So when you are working with our customers, you can directly send whatever you've drawn uh, to understand the costing, understand the pricing. Uh, and even if you want to fabricate directly, the tech design understands uh, whatever you have drawn on Tech3D and you can get IFC format drawings back to you to put onto your project. So the whole ecosystem of construction is what we are trying to trying to optimize uh, using our, our digital solutions. And I hope uh, this doesn't stop here because the way technology is moving is incredible. During this pandemic time, uh, many of our customers are, are still were still operational, and they wanted to have uh, to interact with all our products. So what we have done is based on whatever you have drawn in in Tech 3D, you are able to make a really fantastic. Uh, virtual visual mockup. So this is uh, something which is uh, exciting. You are able to now export the families uh, and the uh, and the objects you've just created and you have uh, visualization tools like visual live where you can import it onto uh, that platform and you can start seeing these objects uh, you know in an augmented reality format what does what really helped us in this pandemic time is using these digital tools, we saved a lot of money to make real mockups. So we were able to make virtual mockups, visual virtual mockups to give the client a flavor of what the product will look like in the project. You know, so this was done in collaboration with uh, a company called Fat Facades uh, and they were able to use Tech3D to generate their objects and they were able to visually uh, uh, showcase uh, to their clients on how the product will look like. So we're really imagining that tomorrow we will not spend thousands and ten thousands of reals on mockups. Uh, we would eventually collaborate on a digital environment, on a digital space, and we will be able to share information, share knowledge, share uh, design intents through this digital platforms. And we hope that uh, Technal will be able to continuously support you in this aspiration to go in this direction. So in, in closing thoughts, just to rewind a bit of what we did today, you know, our innovation not only is on physical products like handles and accessories and framing, but also on the customer tools. And we saw all these tools today from tech design to tech 3D to tech acoustic and how they add value to your design process and, and in your daily day-to-day -day work. Uh, the core uh, BIM solutions of Technal, we saw that it is available A on BIM object, BIM store, but then Tech3D is really a much more um, 
um, a, a much more a better tool in terms of creative freedom, which get, which uh, the architect gets. We, you saw the whole ecosystem of how the Tech 3D works in collaboration with Tech Design. So tomorrow, uh, there is going to be seamless communication between the installer, the subcontractor, and the architect. So the whole platform is closed, and it is it is really um, effective collaboration, which is what BIM aims to achieve. And then the future is exciting because you can start using these objects which you've just drawn and start to see how we can use this in visual virtual mockups and in better communication tools uh, digitally. You don't have to go and visit somebody with a big you know mock up on your uh, on your car just you know send them by email or you know just send them uh, a QR code with the object and they can just you know scan it from their mobile phone and visualize uh, what you've just designed for them. So that brings me uh, to the end of my session and I invite our dear friend from Akinet to uh, come back. I hope the session was of use to you and uh, it will be nice to come back and uh, check what we have picked up from, from today's session. Okay, so thank you Mr. Arvind for the interesting presentation. Uh, shall we now start the polling for getting some answers about the... Yes, yes, absolutely. Let's yes. open up the poll. Okay. So we have these questions just to be answered by you, by you guys. And then we can, this is for the purpose of the certification. Okay. Remember guys, there are no wrong answers. So let me ask the first uh, few questions. So uh, the first question is, what are the different digital tools available in Technal? Is it A, Tech Design? Is it B, Tech Acoustic? C, Tech 3D? And D, all of the above? The second question is, uh, what is the accuracy of the acoustic reports generated by uh, Tech Acoustic? Is it plus minus 5 dB? Is it plus minus four dB? Is it plus minus two dB? Or is it plus minus one dB? These are two questions right now. It's appearing on the screen. The third question is, what are the BIM platforms Tech3D can be used for? Is it Revit, SketchUp, Archicad, and D, all of the above? The fourth one, if you paid a good attention, you would be able to pick it. What is the level of detail LOD which Tech 3D can produce? Is it LOD 100, is it LOD 200, or is it LOD 300? And my favorite question, as always, if you've been a follower of this, uh, this uh, sessions, the Technal brand is originally from France, Germany, UAE, or is it from Saudi Arabia? I hope you get this answer easily. We will see today. Okay, so the poll is still moving. Okay, and it's moving. Yes. Yeah, I think I have got some questions that we can discuss a little bit further about. Uh, only I have one question, which is: uh, Is the three D tech able to make curvilinear wall, mullion wall, yes. with uh, curtain wall? Sorry, it's a typical Zahadi question. <laughs> it's a typical Zahadi question. Uh, not yet. Uh, today, 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 we we have uh, for straight. Um, uh, we are developing, and uh, soon we will have for uh, complex geometries. Today, it is for straight and corners, and uh, we are already doing R and D to bring in curvilinear, curved glass. Uh, twisted glass, unitized facade. So a lot of these things are under development. Uh, as you would appreciate, uh, this takes some time. But yes, uh, we will have it soon. And the beauty is once you have downloaded Tech3D, you're registering your email address on that. And every time there is an update, like the updates which I showed you, like the corner, uh, we talked about um, positioning of the handles, importing from CAD, you get an email automatically saying that, hey, you have to download the updated version now. This is the link. You know, this is what you need to do to update. So you get constant updates on the, on new enhancements on Tech 3D. So the answer is today, no, but tomorrow, yes. As in not tomorrow, but in the future.
Do we have more questions? So whilst you are also seeing the poll, uh, I'm just gonna show our survey link for today. Uh, please feel free to uh, go through uh, the link and um, fill us your feedback for today's session. This will really help us A, to know, know you uh, so that we can give you the certificate and uh, irrespective of you getting the answers correct or not, and B, uh, always helps us to do better in terms of uh, our sessions in the future. So we have almost 87% completed the poll. Is there more questions? Uh, so contacts of our, of our people, yes. I'm just gonna show my screen. Uh, please write to us. Uh, if you just need to contact us here um, and um, and we'll be able to uh, able to assist you. Um, there are some interesting questions I'm just reading on the chat. Earlier you said Techno can be involved in a project from design stage. If you're done with the design already preparing for tender, how can we make you involved? Yeah, very good question. Uh, please get us involved uh, before the documents are, uh, are going for tender. We can have a quick review of the drawings and we can give you some good details, specifications. So this can be added as an addendum to your drawings. So you as an architect will know very clearly um, what is going uh, out for tender and what the contractors are pricing for. So please, please write to us and we'd be happy to work with you on those projects quickly, giving you, uh, giving you detail. So, uh, somebody, somebody has asked for the survey in chat. So maybe if you could send this link. I think it is already on the chat, if I'm not wrong. Um, but yes, I can. I, can, I can share the results. I guess you want. You want some? Uh, before that, I think they want to have the chat link. So let me let me. Uh, so this is the uh, link for the survey. So uh, I can. And if you could, okay, let me just copy this. Copy. And then I go back to the chat. And I'm gonna put the, okay, I can't. Maybe I can send it to you. Yes, oops. Yeah. Did you send it? Um, I copied it and okay. Yes, I've sent it to you uh, privately. Maybe you can. I'm not able to send it to everybody. No, sorry. I'll I'll do that. Okay, and I bring back our contacts on screen. And yes, if you have the polls completed, we can have a look at it. Okay, polling is closed now. Okay, fantastic. So the first question, what are the different digital tools available in Technal? The answer is yes, all of the above, Tech Design, Tech Acoustic, Tech 3D, fantastic. You've got all of that correct, that's brilliant. Uh, what is the accuracy of acoustic reports generated by Tech Acoustic software? The answer is plus minus one dB, that is fantastic. 52% I've got that correct, I'm so happy. What are the pl BIM platforms Tech3D can be used for? Is it only Revit, SketchUp, Archicad? The answer is all of the above. 88% have got it correct. Fantastic. Well done. What is the level of detail which Tech3D can produce? LOD 300. That is absolutely correct. One thing I want to stress here is although it is LOD 300, the weight of the file is actually 30% lighter than standard LOD file. So it doesn't really uh, add weight to your model. Um, so that's something which is also interesting on this on this question. The Technal band, wow, this is fantastic. Everybody have got this correct. I'm so happy. It's a, it's a French brand and I'm so excited. It took me five days to establish this. So tomorrow I'm going to remove this question from the poll. 
Okay, well done, everybody. All of you have got the right answer. I'm so proud of what you guys have done. Uh, are there any questions uh, still there, or we could call it a day? From my side, there is one question, which is if there is activation for a limited time as a, like a free trial or something, uh, uh -huh. is that possible or not? So yeah. yes, so once you, once you download, I'm just gonna put the link again. Uh, okay, I will here. give you the access. Yeah tech3d.technal.com. So this is the website where you could go and you can download uh, Tech3D from here. Once you download, you automatically get a 30-day free trial. And when you fill in your details, you'll, you'll get a mail um, asking you which um, platform you want to download it for. And in that same email, you will get also uh, the option of activate my license. So once you do that, that message comes to me uh, and we will immediately activate um, activate it for you. Okay, that's the most of it, I guess, for now. Um, so thank you, uh, Mr. Arun, for the interesting presentation. Thank you, our dear guests. And hopefully we'll see you in the upcoming uh, final sessions, inshallah. Thank you. Tomorrow is the last session. Uh, thank you, Akinet, for, for hosting us today. We've come to the end of the facade week. Uh, and tomorrow, I promise, will be a, a very interesting topic, talking, covering sustainability, energy efficiency, and, and what we have to design for future, the circular economy. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Once again, thank you for being a very patient audience. And thank you, Akinet, for the opportunity. Have a wonderful evening and good night to all of you. Thank you.